Hey guys, attorney Zach Ritchie, Mark Lopez Law Firm, here today to talk to you about what to expect if you're pulled over while driving with a suspended license. So you're driving down the road and you're pulled over by the police. This may be for speeding, failing to use a turn signal, running a red light, or just being unlucky and having the police officer run your license plate showing that your driver's license is suspended. If you're pulled over and are driving a vehicle with a suspended license, the officer may arrest you for driving while suspended. Under Indiana law, an individual who knows that the individual's driving privileges, driver's license, or permit is suspended or revoked and operates a motor vehicle upon a highway commits a Class A misdemeanor. A Class A misdemeanor carries a maximum penalty of one year in jail under Indiana law. There may be a number of reasons why your license may be suspended. It could be from something as simple as unpaid traffic tickets or something more serious such as operating a vehicle while intoxicated. In any event, being charged with driving while suspended can make your life that much worse. Not only do you have a suspended license, but now you can be facing new or additional criminal charges. Those criminal charges can lead to fines, jail time, and difficulties finding or maintaining employment. A common question we get is, I was charged with driving while suspended, but I have specialized driving privileges. How did that happen? In Indiana, it is possible to continue driving while your license is suspended. There are provisions in the law that make it permissible to drive on a limited basis while your license is suspended in some occasions. This is typically known as specialized driving privileges. For example, you receive a one-year license suspension for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. You may be eligible to receive specialized driving privileges for that year that your license is suspended. Now, specialized driving privileges can keep you driving to places of necessity, but it is not a free-for-all to drive wherever you want. Typically, with specialized driving privileges, the court is going to allow you to drive to and from work, to court hearings, counseling appointments, doctor's appointments, child care arrangements, etc. The court will want to know where you are driving, the time you are going to be driving, and the reason that you need to drive to that specific location. If you're granted specialized driving privileges, the court is going to give you a signed order by the judge that you will need to keep with you in your glove box. If you're pulled over and the officer can clearly see that you're driving, for example, to work during the allotted time, you're going to be fined and not charged with driving while suspended. On the other hand, if you're pulled over in a Taco Bell parking lot at 2 a.m. or out driving back roads on a Sunday afternoon, you can be charged with driving while suspended, and the reason for that is because you're driving outside of the parameters of the judge's specialized driving privileges order. Again, just because you may have specialized driving privileges, it is not a free-for-all for you to drive wherever you please. If you're facing criminal charges for driving while suspended, I know we can help. Please give us at the Mark Lopez Law Firm a call, 317-632-3642, and always remember, Complete the fit.